Welcome to another Alex Geometry Topic instructional video by Mr. Hardy. What we're going to do in this uh, video is look at central angles and something called an angle involving a chord and a tangent. So before we uh, dive in and solve the problem, let's talk about this background information that if you know this background information you probably can do the problem pretty easily. So the first thing is a central angle which hopefully you're already familiar with from other topics but it's the angle that's formed by you have two points and, and the, the angle is formed by the lines kind of intersecting the center. So its vertex is the center of the circle and it turns out that then, then that angle is exactly equal to the number of degrees for the arc on the circle. So that we kind of already know, okay? Uh, and it's just nice to, to have that. Now we have something kind of new. Remember that a chord is a line that cuts across a circle and it, it has two points on the circle. That's a chord. And then a tangent line is a line that just touches, just touches the circle. I mean, it could, uh, this could be a tangent line too. There, you know, there's infinite number of tangent lines for a circle. But we're interested in a particular one that's tangent right where the chord is. And what that does is it cause, creates a vertex an, for an angle. And once again, it turns out, just like an inscribed angle, it turns out that the angle of what we call this chord tangent angle, that the measure of that angle is half of the measure of the arc of the chord. Okay? So with that, we should be able to do this problem. We come over here. We're told that in addition to J being the center, which they have to say, the arc KL, so from K all the way around to L, is 114 degrees. So 114 degrees. Okay, so the measure of L, oh, that's tricky. The measure of L. K J. That's interesting. Okay. So first to find that angle, we we can find this. Okay? We know that we know that this part is 90 degrees. So if we know this, we can just subtract it from 90 and get this part. So remember over here it's if we know the arc then this angle this chord tangent angle is half. So this angle right here is half. Okay and then half of that let's see that would be I think that's 57. Let's just do it on the calculator. 114 divided by 2. Okay, 57. So that's nice. Okay, so if we know this is 57 degrees and the whole thing, this whole thing is 90, then 90 minus 57, we can do on the calculator, clear, 90 minus, take away 57, is 33. So my answer would be 33 degrees. Now that was tricky because I thought they were going to ask us for the chord tangent angle. We had to find it first and then subtract it from 90. So another concept we had to remember is that if you have a circle, and that's a really bad circle, isn't it? If you have a circle and the, you have a line tangent and then the radius that goes straight to that tangent line, that cr 
creates a 90 degree angle. Okay, what's the measure of K, J, L? Okay, so we should have done that one first. That's easy. That's a central angle, so it's going to be the same as the arc. So that's going to be 1, 1, 4, 0. Oh. Let's see if we can do another one real quick. Maybe it'll be easier. Let's see. So they have to tell us that this is the center because all things kind of evol evolve around that. So the measure of RQS, RQS, so this angle right here is 46. So that tells us that the arc, R to Q, R to Q, oh, there it is. That's what they're asking us for. What is R to Q? Or they say Q to R. It doesn't matter. So then this is, is twice as much as 46. So it would be 2 times 46. And I think that's going to be uh, 92, isn't it? 2 times 46. 2 times 6 is 12. 1. 2 times 4 is 8. 92. 92 degrees. And so now, what's the measure of QPR? QPR. So that's the same as the arc, because that's a central angle. It's the same as the arc, so it's going to be 92 degrees as well. Okay? All right, so good luck with that.